Good morning. What's up, guys? I'm Rip. You can hear me now. I'm you and Mr. Oh. Myk. You can hear him now. This is this is crazy. It's almost like we're gonna do a tutorial today on uh, back those <laughs> We're almost gonna do it. We're almost gonna do it today. <laughs> There's only so many times I can, you know, force myself through an intro. It's like um, <laughs> take yeah. 973. <laughs> Yeah, today we're going to cover Beck Dosan. That's how you pronounce it, because he's named after a famous mountain in Korea. Yes, historical. Boom. All right. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is like try number 10. Uh, you know, I tried to tell you guys uh, earlier that, you know, we're having some internet issues uh, on the previous tries. And the other one was also a mic issue. So now I think everything's straightened out. And we're going to cover Beck Dosan. Mike, take it away. Key moves All right. for Beck. All right. So the first thing I'll talk about for Beck is that he's kind of like a Mishima first. Uh, he has a lot of good, good movement. That's the first thing I'll mention because he's kind of like a Mishima-esque character without an electric. But he has a generic down forward too, which is really great. Uh, that's probably going to be one of the key moves that you're going to use just because in the sidestep game, it's going to be so crucial. You could use it like a sidestep arc blast at safe. Uh, it's always good for that, but the range on it's not so good, but it does high crush from a little bit away. And next move I'll talk about is that uh, he has a 4-3 string. It's also the start of his 10 string. But, but the good thing about this is that the standing 4, the hitbox on it is a lot lower than you think. This move is pretty much as electric, but it's only like a counter air launcher basically. Uh, four, is, like for example, it, you could use it as like a get up kick combo. Uh, we'll try to demonstrate that here. here. Try to knock me down with, uh, yeah. Okay, this might take a little while, but let's see. Got it. Yeah, that's really cheap. Like, you can use that as a get up kick combo. The hitbox on it is really low for a high move. Um, the other thing is that you could also do 4-3, which is a high-high, but I believe it jails on block. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Yeah, does, does not jail. You can duck it. Careful. Does not jail, but let's see. Yeah, I can't do anything to block fast enough. Or, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I got options. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, don't do that. Okay, don't do that? Yeah. Okay. Be uh, careful maybe. in doing this, you know. Just yeah. Like you know, I, I use law obviously, and you know, countered four is all you really need. But so when you see it, just then do the four three basically. Uh, yeah, you have some options with flamingo and cancels and stuff, so it's still pretty good. But uh, standing four, really good hitbox. Uh, you're gonna be using that in every combo practically. Um, it's gonna pick up in every situation, and yeah, it's a really great move. And the next move we'll get. Two is his down back three string. Uh, it also has an extension with down back three three. It is a natural combo, so that's really good. Yeah, starting from a low. Uh, down back three three can also be canceled with forward. Yeah, to go into flamingo or I believe back for this one. Yeah, you can go back to. Yeah, yeah. Has, but it's down back three three, right? Yeah, down back three three, then forward or back, and then you can go into flamingo, preferably forward in combos, just so you can get that forward momentum. It's that forward step rather than that backward okay. step. Yeah, you never want to get that backward step in a combo. Uh, let's see. And down back 3-3 three, three also on counter hit, it gives you plus 11 on plus counter 11? hit. So you could get wow. like plus plus 11, yeah. And on normal hit, it's uh, down back 3-3 three, three canceled into forward. It's plus 8. So that's really good for frame advantage stuff. And you could keep pressure going or you could just go for more lows. You know, you have a bunch of options with that. It's a good offense starting move. Basically, if it hits, it's plus eight. Then you could go into like down forward four four, which is also safe. They can't mash out of that. Uh, and on counter hit, down back three three, like we said, plus eleven. So you could get boom two Ooh. two. 52, oh, 52 uh, damage. Damn it! Thanks to Tall John. Yeah. Bam. Fifty-two damage for that. That's a lot of damage. Uh, 
Oh uh, yeah, so next move we'll go to is his 443. It's kind of like the Mishima's 443. The great part about it too is that it also leaves them in full crouch, but it, it leaves you at minus one. So, but that's not bad. Minus one, they're in full crouch. You could you could still f them up, you know, if they try to. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Try to do like like let's say law or something. Only has wall standing four. Like yeah. blocks this. Oh, why would you try to hit a button? <laughs> you know. It's a problem. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a good move. And then 443 if it hits, like we said, 43 is always going to be your combo filler. You could do it really late too and it'll still pick up. Wow. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, so Next thing we'll go to another good move. Uh, yeah, 443. You could use it out of wave dash too, or you could continuously use pressure with like down back 33, three, or you have other lows like down four, down four three three, three is his back back rush string. It's down four, four, down four three three has the follow up of the last three at the end, which is a mid or the low, or with down three at the end. Yeah. And then both, yeah, we'll, we'll tell you how to get uh, away from that in, uh, in the defeating big section. But you could also cancel that into Flamingo to continue your pressure. And also on counter hit, down 4, 3, 3 is all natural. So, oh my god, it's almost damage. Yeah, bake and rage could be a lot of damage. Ooh. Yeah, that whole string in rage would be like 75%. Yeah, it's like <laughs> crazy. And also keep in mind, down four versus full crouch down four down four does not high crush he is left in a standing animation uh full crouch down four is the generic down four animation so it does high crush uh but the uh, but you can still do big rush out of full crouch version as well oh okay yeah so keep that in mind you could also do that uh next move we'll get to is his back four this move is you know supposedly nerfed but i think it's a buff it's kind of like uh, reminiscent of uh tekken six devil jin's back four where on normal hit it'll knock down with the flip over Knock down like that, and it'll also wall splat, safe, and on counter hit, it's a launcher. So, so yeah. people are saying it's That's a nerf awesome. because it doesn't always launch now. Yeah, but it's safe now. So I think I for, for me, I think it's a, I think it's a buff. Cause like, why do you need another launcher out of Flamingo? Cause that's basically what it was, right? You do sidestep and then boom, Flamingo back four, but you have Raha. Yeah. What's the what's the point? Now now you just have a yeah now you just have another safe mid option like four three plus four which is uh, yeah. Someone yeah, in just, the chat, someone in the chat, chat just said it's called back rush. I thought it was called bank rush. <laughs> bank rush. <laughs> that sounds like a good mobile app game. <laughs> go go ahead right, and make I'm that one. Stealing that idea right now. <laughs> bank rush. <laughs> All right, so next move we'll get to is his down back two. I personally think this is a good move for like mid range myth with punishing. Myth punishing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really good. Same thing again with a uh, four three. You could combo afterward, dashing in, and then you know get the follow up. I bet it'll move on block. Uh, I believe it's minus thirteen or twelve or thirteen. Yeah, thirteen. Let's try fourteen. All right. Yeah. So it's a good range punisher. So from like, uh, stay about right there. Yeah, stay about like right there. They stick anything out. You could just kind of clip their toes, their extended hip hip box, so, and then you could just kill them for that. It's good with punisher. Yeah, just like that. That's a perfect example. They whip a jab at max range, and you clip their fingernails. And and, uh, and the next move I'll get to is the flamingo forward three. Uh, I believe this is a buff. I don't think on counter hit before you used to get like. On the wall, for example, you get like plus a million on this move. So you get at least plus a lot. <laughs> because that's kind of stunned. It usually doesn't guarantee a full launch Holy like that. Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. Or you could just do it again and then. Dude, that damage is crazy. That's yeah, Flamingo he... forward three. Yep. That's uh, oh God. Flamingo forward three on the wall since there's not that much pushback. You don't, you don't, you get the full advantage of it, and then you get like twenty something odd frames to do whatever you want. Yeah. Oh my god. Full launch, no scaling on the first two hits. It's like counter it down four to electric with Kazuya, but way easier. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Dude, look at the solo damage. That was ridiculous. That was over half a life bar. Yeah, and I even missed the end too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, and in the open, it's also a great, you know, 
Uh, and also another thing too, it's zero on block. So what? The good it's zero on block. So you, if you jab afterward, you can still you know retaliate with it. It'll just trade. But the only problem is, is, it, is he gonna jab? Is he gonna uh, you know? And you also have to think really fast afterwards too, because it is zero on block. So you have other options with like flamingo back one, which has an auto side step right, so you could ev evade some of the retaliation. Yeah. So like, uh, also keep in mind. Let's just talk about some stuff from Flamingo since we're on the topic of it. Uh, back three is how you go into manual Flamingo. Uh, to go into uh, Flamingo out of a move, you always do forward or back. Uh, back one will you know kind of make you move backwards, but you know forward one will kind of make you move forward. That's also how you do combos with it as well. Um, Actually, hold on. Does it always? Um I feel like it doesn't always move you back. It's only if you hold it back, I think. Okay. So the only one that I see that is cancelled with forward is down forward three. So that's the only one that's cancelled with forward. You can't cancel that one with back. Yeah. Alright, so with Flamingo... Right, I just, uh, did it. I just did it with back. I think you have to tap it twice, though. Tap it? The really? Three twice. Oh. What? I think, right? No, you tap forward. Forward for that. Yeah. Yeah, you can't yeah, do you're it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. So with Flamingo, um, just speaking of the stand, that's the manual one by itself. It has an auto sidestep right. So if you're using it with a regular sidestep right, you technically have a double sidestep right just with them within that you know movement. Boom, boom, and you, you could already get to their back. Like, look how fast that is. Like, double sidestep, you're already at their back. Another one, you're at their side. Boom, you're at the front. Yeah, this has always been one of the biggest strengths of Flamingo. Yeah, the nerf, though, from Big, from his Flamingo stance, was that they added a new move, back 3 plus 4. This is pretty much how you were able to continuously Flamingo stance cancel by doing one after another. But now they added this, and then this is his low parry out of his flamingo. So basically, he has a bunch of options, but kind of they kind of overshadowed the other ones because it's like, why would you go for the low parry, honestly, if you have the raha? Or you know, it's like, why would you go for that if you want to play a little safer? You could just go for other options, you know? It's just like, why did they add this move? It's kind of <laughs> to make used. Beck look stupid. Look though. <laughs> yeah, that move looks dumb, dude. Who low parries like that? Uh. <laughs> and it's just not it's not even like a cool low parry either it's just like a generic yeah low parry what? Oh, that's who so cares? crazy who cares about that why did they add that i don't know but it's interesting so yeah so the only thing he, he could pretty much do everything from flamingo and then he has like a couple other moves too with like forward four uh, like down forward four four is still the same. Down forward one three is still the same. You know he still has his jab strings, and it could can cancel into it. So it's kind of like you could string flamingo over and over into itself. But uh, always keep in mind some rule of thumbs. It's always going to be canceled after a three. Like kind of like Steve, how it's always going to be canceled after a one to go into flicker. What? I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. So it's like think about it. Down four three three, and then what are you canceling? The last three. Right. Yeah, you're canceling the last three. Down back three, three. You're canceling the second three. One, two, three. You're canceling that three. Yeah. Two, ah. three. Yeah. Two, three just leaves you in Flamingo. That's just a string by itself. That one, you don't have to press forward or back. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, pretty much Flamingo forward three is great. Uh, he has other options he could do, like, for a. Uh, High crush, he has to do like uh, down three. He also has like down three, 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 down three, three, down, you know, neutral three. Uh, and then he also has um, to other high crush, he has down jab with like down back one. He could also do down one, down, you know, four. You could do a lot of things. Down one, four. I don't think this string's that great. Uh, Is it natural at least? Or only on counter? Only on counter. The only good thing about it is that you could fully delay it on counter hit. And then it'll still be a combo. But wow. it's like, who cares? It's a counter hit, dude. Yeah. Like, you were gonna do it anyways. Like, who cares about that? Uh, yeah, so next thing about Bake I'll talk about is his back one and back two. Just because these have also another 
a bonus sidestep in the move by itself. This move, I believe, is punishable, like minus 10 to 12, somewhere around there. Try 4-3 after it. Let's see. It's not punishable? Look out, Pretty law. sure it's punishable. It's safe? No way. What? I think it's safe. I always use points at minus 10, too. No one uses Beck anymore. <laughs> Yeah, that was They safe. made that safe now? Safe. Wow. Like safe, dude, dude. Okay, so great. You can spam this move all day you want. And then all you day get like. You want. <laughs> <laughs> dude, look at that. Triple sidestep. Oh. Oh. You can't hit me, fool. Oh. Ow. Wow, that's crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, that's Damn, really... that's dizzying. <laughs> you can't hit me. <laughs> oh, damn it. Unless you get to my back, you could hit me. <laughs> what? I don't know, dude. Did you see that? I saw what that. What was that? Dude. We were okay. just uh, playing like some kind of hand slapping game or something, I think. <laughs> no damage. All right. So also another thing about back one is that on counter hit, it does gives a double overstun, but double overstuns are breakable. But if they don't break it, you can get a full launch on it. Yeah. And you can break it by hitting any direction if you guys don't know about that. Yep. Just any direction on the stick. Mm -hmm. And then, and yeah, another thing that they buffed is this back two. Uh, or kind of nerf too, because on counter hit before, you were able to get a 4-3 pickup for a combo. And it was actual legit combo, now it's just Oki. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now back back two is uh, 13 frames though, so I consider that a buff. Because that's really fast. You could punish hot kicks with that. Let's show them that. Sh Whoops. Gotta make sure I get, yeah. Boom. Boom, punish. That's really good. And then I believe back two, and then at the right range, you could get down three guaranteed. So that's decent. You already get 27 damage. And then yeah, down three, three, plus another 12. So 39 damage, pretty good. Oh, I see, so it has to be range dependent. Yeah, yeah it's, it is range dependent, but like for punishing hop kicks, it's not too bad. Yeah. Can you or get you the down 3-3 three, three neutral through there? Yeah, probably. That's pretty yep. good, especially if there's a wall behind it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, back 2 into guaranteed down 3, range dependent though. Uh, it's pretty good uh, for that purpose. That It's worthy of mentioning. Another thing is Hunting Hawk, but Hunting Hawk is minus 10. And it's not really... This is Kind of like his only uh, low crush option with hop kick, which are both pretty damn slow. I mean, his low crushing hop kicks are really slow. I mean, like I don't understand. Taekwondo characters are supposed to be kicking all the time, right? Why are they? Why do they have like some of the slowest hop kicks in this? They game? don't know how to jump, Mike. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a, it's a, they know how to they... kick, but they don't know how to jump, dude. <laughs> obviously, obviously, what it is. It's obviously the issue. <laughs> they they yeah. know how to kick, but they don't know how to jump. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they taught sense. Bruce Lee how to do a legend kick. All right. I think he taught but him yeah, that's pretty, a legend kick. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much about it for Big. And another big thing is his class 1 launcher. It was his final mention that I'll mention. Uh, it has great range, so you could use it as a whiff punisher. And huge damage. And look how easy that combo is. <laughs> like, you don't even have to do anything. You can get a lot of damage with this character. Oh. No, you do. But just not off this launcher. Oh, well, his combos are pretty fun. We'll get to oh, his okay. We'll get all there. Right. Yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much about it for all his useful moves. Down we, two, also hits grounded. Uh, side step three plus four, also great. Oh, that's all, dude. We, yeah, we got to talk Bra about that one. Side step three plus four is a great move. Yeah, side step three plus four is really good in the sense that it's so fast, dude. Like, after the side step, it comes out, like, practically instantly. So it's like, you do, like, a jab, and you just, like, stuck a jab out just to test them, and then it'll clip you. Damn, I did one jab back. I'm like, no, yeah. stop jabbing me. And that was it. That's all it took. Dude, look at that. It just sucks you in. It's a vacuum. It's, oh. a really, it's really great for that purpose. I believe it's also tag bufferable. Let me see. Yeah. That's really good. Tag bufferable. You could take off chunks of red life if you want to. Yeah. Yeah, and okay, so really quick, I want to just go over like all of his stupid string options. Because a lot of them are very similar. But uh, here we go. So one, two, three, 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 four. You just did it. How'd you know I was doing that one? <laughs> one, two, three, 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 four. And then there's one, two, 
Yeah, down one, two, three, 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 down four. And then there's yeah. one, two, three, three, four, four, three. Boom. <laughs> did I do that right? Yeah, and four, four, four. Right. Three, so three, four, four. Yeah, and then. Yep, and then there's also one, two, three, four, three. Mm -hmm. That. And then there's also three, 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 four. As you can see, that one's all high. And most of these are like yeah, that's like the, the higher low. The the one two three 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 four and three 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 four is the exact same move, except one two three 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 four is comes out comes after the jab string. Basically. Right. Yeah, good point. And then uh, three 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 down four, same thing as the other ones. One two three 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 down four. And did you just say that one? I think you did. And then three three four four three. I think this one's the one that's ends mid. Yeah, it's like yeah. the bake rush ender. The down forward four four three. It's like it's the that that ender in the combo. Down forward four four. Yeah. Yeah. So if you want to confuse people online, that's a good string to mix them up with. Because this one, they'll be like, oh, everything ends low or high, and then you go, no. This is of course just very low level strats for online play, but maybe you wanted to know that. Uh, yeah, three four three is high low mid, by the way. So that's an interesting one. Yeah. Um, if people aren't used to it. Uh, he's also got these other strings like four two one two. I think you can delay this one too. Yeah. You can hella. Really. You can hella delay every hit. Yeah, for the low one, but the punches. Yeah, just the second hit. Yeah. But you can always duck the second if you're a bit high, right? Okay. It doesn't jail. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um. Oh, no delay. Let's see. No delay. Nope, no jail. Okay. Uh, and other than that, I think you know we just did the back rush stuff. Down four three three three. Down oh, four, three, this three, string down right three. here, four three three. It's high low, or you could cancel it with the last hit making it Ooh. mid. How do you cancel it? Back two. Back two to cancel a forward three. Yeah, four three three back two. Oh, I see. Yeah, or you could just do four three three. That's annoying. That's yeah, super annoying. <laughs> it looks like you can fuzzy guard it pretty easily, though. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, it's about the same speed for the mid punch anyway. Uh, okay, let me see. What else am I looking for here? There was. Down four, four, four. What's that? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, this, all these strings are like you could do the shorter version too, like you know, like the strings we were talking about, like three three four 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 or three three four 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 three. It's just basically four four three, you know, or four 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 or like down four 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 three with the low or the mid. Yeah, so it's just like everything. All these strings are just like really long versions of a shorter string. Yeah. You know? Or you it's a good way to think way about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, let's see. There was one other thing I want to mention. So we talked about Flamingo, and, you know, we said it's forward three or back three. Sorry, to go into it manually. Um, oh. But, like, what are the specific moves you can only do out of Flamingo? I think there's only, like, three of them, right? Yeah, we have forward three. That's one of them we mentioned. Zero on block. Uh, whatever you do afterwards, you have to think fast because, like, jab afterward or do I just boom that's oh that yeah that's good because <laughs> that's really good because that's safe now yeah yeah, yeah, yeah you jab all block. Wow, that's a fantastic option yeah unless you have a super fast yeah or make it whiff yeah yeah you yeah, can't be predictable with it yeah there you go rip just found the counter to it oh yeah back stance three it's another <laughs> stance only Back three is his bind move from Flamingo Stance. It's going to be used probably the most from his bind moves. Yeah. And I believe on counter hit, it's just a knockdown. Yeah. Well, you could pick, do Oki with 4 3, like I said, because 4 3 has such a high hitbox if he tries to quick stand after the counter of uh, back three. Sorry, not 4 3. I get confused. Yeah. You there could you do easy follow up to pick up. And then we also have Raha, which is a great move. Even though it's minus 14, it's kind of similar in the purpose of, you know, using sidestep 3 plus 4. But sidestep 3 plus 4 is like, in in the sense, you're trying to whiff punish like a jab after a sidestep. And sidestep, you know, Flamingo Raha huh? oh is kind of like, oh, I'm, I'm going to want him to do like a down forward 2 and I'm going to try to kill him for that yeah. kind of thing. And notation you know? for that, by the way, is up forward 3 from Flamingo. Flamingo. So basically in Flamingo, you that will get rid of your hunting hawk. You you wouldn't have that because you have Raha instead, and also a forward four does not exist 
couple of empty move slots that I would like to mention. Up forward four does not come out at all in Flamingo. Yep. Or neither does an up forward one, but uh, he has a couple other things too. Oh yeah, another useful move before we move on that I almost always forget to mention before we always move on to the next section is uh, down back four. It's a sweep, but a good thing about his sweep is that not just you know that combo, but which is tag bufferable too, so you could take your character out safely which is all right but you could also get a full combo with this uh it's basically a launcher for him with what yeah it's not that hard either that's cool yeah you get a full combo if i could do it let's see in my limited back experience i feel like combos are hard there it is see you can do a full combo with sweep with the uh, full crouch two into a uh, uh, forward, forward, neutral, forward, three for the pickup. Just because isn't forward, three great? Low ass hip hop. So. <laughs> uh, another thing too, a super easy follow up. If you're closer, you could do down jab into down back three three, and then the that crouch cancel is a lot easier. You could do down jab into down back three three by just doing down back and then forward, and then down back forward will let you do standing moves. Eris did a tutorial on this but this is an old Tekken trick but down back one you could do standing moves if you press forward right afterwards and not have to do while standing moves so you could do like well let me show you I think this one has to be axis dependent yeah I hate axis dependent let me get on this side let me see okay yeah I think it's this one's a little bit not as good because the full crouch two has more range and it's more consistent. Yeah, that, that looks much better, more consistent. I like consistency. This does work though, and it is easier. I think it's just the way that Vic stands so that down jab doesn't hit afterward, but let's see. Oh, why is he flipping over? Maybe I have to be on this side, sorry. Yeah, I think that side will work. Eh, whatever. I don't know. Yeah, but the, the down 2-1, that one looks good. Down yeah. Down 2, dash, into the forward, four, to three. the neutral, 4-3. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, that's yeah, pretty much more, about it. One more thing I wanted to mention is his uh, ground hitting moves. Because uh, before... He had 4-4-4, four, like four, four, but now they replaced it with a homing move, which is okay. But the Dude, homing move, move does... That move is awesome, by the way. Uh, it's okay. As a whiff punisher, I mean, I guess you could probably punch it like this or something instead. But um, yeah, yeah, I love using. What I, like, I feel like it's one of those moves where people just get scared because it's a natural combo. I mean, the second yeah. hit is high, but the damage on it is so big, ginormous. Yeah, so that, that's a grip of damage just for basically hitting one hit. It's kind of like a death fist if you want to think about it. Except it's just, I, I, death fist can be launch punishable too. Yeah, but this is way more easier to launch punch. That's true. Anyway, yeah. so yeah, not a bad move either. Um, and then, this move used to be good. Is this not good anymore? No, it's still good. It has a lot of range. It's a, I think it's a decent whiff punisher. But uh, he kind of has down back two now, so... Okay. Does this... Uh, do you get guaranteed down two after that? Uh, yeah, I believe so. And you get Oki with, like, you know, same thing. You could do four, you know, that. Mm -hmm. Or you could do, like, you know, other stuff. Yeah, you can yep. do 4-3 to pick up, or down forward one just to keep it safer. You know, whatever you want. Yeah, you can do whatever you want after that. 1 plus 2, 4, and then down 2 is guaranteed, though. So that's his 14 frame Punisher. Should we show them the back turn combo now? The back turn combo? You know, oh, like yeah. if someone's back. Oh, yeah. Uh, another useful thing, too, about Big is that if you get to somebody's back, you could do 3-4-3, three, three, and then it'll be a full, you know, Basically, junkyard on their back kind of move. Uh, if you hit four, three, yeah, they can't get out of that. And you can tag buffer it, and you can also take off red life, which is great. Oh, you know. Doesn't he have another one that ends with the low? Oh yeah, you could do one? like four, 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 and then boom, boom. Yeah, if you do four, four, uh, the last one will trip them, and then you could do all standing two, one. Down four, four, yeah. four. And you can do that out of Flamingo, right? Uh-huh. You yeah, can do, yeah. 
so you can sidestep and then flamingo into it. So that people, yeah. You'll get further around to the back easier, basically. Yeah, this is also like the key usefulness of using big too, using that flamingo step to get that extra sidestep. And then if you do, you could, you know, go for stuff like boom, 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 and then boom. Yeah, that was a little bit crazy off the back, it's like completely to the back. But yeah, you guys get the idea. So and th those kind of combos lead to a grip of damage too, like a hundred. plus. huge! Damage. And if you started off with like Bacon Rage, that's a ton of damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. So I guess I guess we'll get to his Punishers next. Yeah. So Punishers, Danny Punishers. He's got a one two, one one, and two two. Those are his ten frame Punishers. Two two, obviously being the most damaging. Uh, Twelve frames. He's got four three. Um, which you could do four three three to go to Flamingo. I mean, I think no. Four three three is not natural, right? Uh, no. Uh, another thing I like to mention about 4-3, I wrote it down, is that 4-3 on hit is minus 4. But if you do 4-3-3 three, three and then Flamingo cancel, it's plus 5. Oh, okay. So you basically, if you're going to punish with 4-3. Yeah, and if you want frame advantage to go into it, some kind of mix-up with like, you know, anything from Flamingo. Yeah, basically yeah. anything. Cre be cre Creative, you could do you could do anything out of flamingo. So fourth down four, or you know down three, or down back three three to continue the pressure. You know, there's a bunch of options. Okay, so that makes his four three three, twelve frame punish good. I was wondering why I wrote four three three. That's what it is. It's probably because you got four three three into flamingo is probably your best twelve frame punish, rather than just going four three minus four. Yeah, on hit. Yeah. Okay, so then uh, at thirteen frames, he's got back two. Yep. Uh, Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Second tag too, man. Sometimes that happens. That's his 13 frame punish. We saw it, we saw it punish uh, hop kick earlier. He also has down forward 1 3 for the same punish, uh, which also can go to Flamingo, right? Yeah. Yep. It's, so. That one actually automatically goes into Flamingo too. Oh. Fine. Yeah. I feel yeah. like this would be a good bait for this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. And then at 14 frames, he's got 1 plus 2 4, which I just showed you. Uh, and then at 15 frames, he's got his down forward 2, which we talked about. And at 22 frames, he's got down forward 3, 4. <laughs> so, 20, 22 two? is pretty far. I think, his hop, I think his hop kick's 20 frames or something, too. Which one's that? Just his up forward 4. Oh, this one? Yeah. Okay. It might be. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know the frame data actually on it. And delay hop kick is always... 23 frames at the fastest, so... Oh, wait, he doesn't have one. <laughs> Koreans that can't do kick moves. They no, they can kick, they just can't jump, dude. I'm telling you. <laughs> but what about Hunting Hawk? How is that physically possible? <laughs> How is that physically... <coughs> Are you okay? Oh, my voice is cracking, sorry. <coughs> okay. Uh, all right. Now to his while standing punishers. Full yes, crouch, yes. you know, 10. He has down jab to generic. Uh, minus 11 though, he has 4-4, four, four, which is like Mishima's axe kicks. And he also has the extension of 4-4-3 four, four, or 4-4-4. Four, four, four. And 4-4-3, four, four, three, you could cancel it, of course, like we mentioned. With, yeah. Mm -hmm. really? to, conti to continue pressure with that. And then, uh, uh, and then you also have... Then, uh, uh, I actually found out it's 12 from Full Crouch. Wild Sand 1-3? Yeah. No way. It's, no way. it's 12, not 13, apparently. According to Ina Tekken. That's well, my source. Why test that with? 12, a forward, uh, so. uh, what's minus 12 from long? I'm trying to think, I don't think I have one, I think it's minus 13, I think. Yeah. Uh, whatever. Down no. one? No. no. 11, huh? I think it's, I think it's oh. 13, actually. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't help. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah. Well, it says it's 12, so. Oh, yeah, so, so yeah. we'll go with we'll the attack, and they're pretty reliable, yeah. usually. Yeah, they update their stuff. Two. Uh, and while standing 2 1 is his 15. So he has 11, 12, and uh, 15. But I think 1 3, let's see the damage on it. It's 32 versus yeah 35. So he might as well just go with 4 4. Yeah, while yeah, 4 4. four. Yeah. And then right, you also right. have 2 1, yeah. But it goes in straight into a bind. So if you want to maximize damage, you would have to tag assault afterward. Right, right. Yeah, because yeah. he doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Oh, actually, yeah, Mike, he does. Mike, uh, the mic is echoing right now. Can you like oh. move it or something? Okay, moved it. All right, there we go. No more echoing. Hello, are you there? Testing. testing. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're good now. All right. All right, so that's pretty much about it for his punishers. Mm -hmm. And then for homing moves, he's got his forward, 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 which we talked about. 
and uh, also 4 3 plus 4. So 4 3 plus 4. Both of these are mid. Um, I don't know which, one's, which one do you think is better. Uh, 4 3 plus 4 is just a t traditional, you know, homing move. A lot of range, safe. I feel like it's so, it does have way more range than 4 4 4. But 4 4 4 is like we talked about 4 4. Forward, forward notations in the past. If you hold the second forward, you can make the range longer. Yeah. Uh, you you know, could also. Like, yeah, like let's say you could also do the yeah. You can also do it on wave dash with like wave dash and four four three. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you could add a lot of range to that move basically. Yeah, but as we mentioned, you know, second it is high. So that's his only two home moves, forward four four three and forward three plus four. Uh mm -hmm. for his bound moves he's got I'm just going to list them off here and then we'll cover them later. But yeah, he's got uh, back one is his down move. He's got forward four is his down move. He's got wall stand two one as we just saw. Second is bound. Flamingo back three. That's the main one probably. Up forward two. Jumping boom, punch boom. Down. Yep. Hunting Hawk is also a bound move. Third hit. Mm -hmm. um, he's got forward four three. And he's got his 10th oh. ring. <laughs> let, oh. me do it. Let, me, let me do it to you. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Here we go. Uh, Oh damn. damn! Oh first man, was try. that first try? Damn, first try. I am good. Wow. You're pretty good, good at that, <laughs> dude. The best part was I didn't even look at the notation. <laughs> <laughs> you just guessed where the threes and the yeah. fours were. <laughs> I, mean, I knew that the second one had more threes, and then I was like, "All right, I think it's time to go back to the four three three. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> I think there's a four, three is somewhere around there. <laughs> yep, I can't. Uh, do. All right, so then uh, let me. Last thing I want to talk about is is uh, the moves are tag bufferable for him. So he's got one, two, three, four, three. Uh, the last hit there is tag bufferable. Oops, my bad. Uh, and then also just without the one, two, three, four, three, obviously he's also tag bufferable. He's got down three, three, three. Uh, last hit again. Uh, Flamingo up four, three is tag bufferable. Raha kick. Uh, up four neutral three, down four, three. So. Uh, oh, that's the same thing, but it's just from jumping. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't know how to jump very high, but you know. <laughs> so that's what that's what that is. Uh, what do you call that? It's blazing kick? What do people? I don't know what they call this one. Yeah, I don't know what they call this one either. But yeah, that one's been calling it skyrocket, isn't it? Oh, it's Vic? skyrocket. You're right. Yeah, Vic skyrocket. skyrocket. Yeah, it's skyrocket. Uh, so skyrocket is also launch punchable, as well as uh, size of three plus four, which we talked about. And his two throw. That's the last tag buffable thing. Really? Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Hmm. So there you go. That's it. That's all the stuff for Beck. All what right. do we go to next? Oh, let's do combos, because this is probably the part that everybody's wondering how you do halberd kicks repeatedly. Whee! Aw, oh, man. <laughs> I forgot how to do All right, so. Oh, uh, well, well, that's why we're doing this episode. All Damn right, here it. we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how do you do halberd kicks or any kind of like, uh, well, this is the first thing I'll I thought they were called like machine gun kicks. Um, what? The move itself is called halberd. Halberd? Okay. Ha halberd, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, how do you do it repeatedly? Um, the best way to do it is do 3 plus 4, and then if you guys know about the buffering system, basically buffering is when you hold a button down after you press it, and uh, you continue holding that button. Uh, for in this case, you do 3 plus 4, you hold 3 down, and then you buffer the 3. That means you're buffering the 3 button, and then you press 4 while you're buffering the 3. But then the, the, whole, the key to it is you just tap forward so it leaves you in flamingo afterwards, so that it's basically... Uh, you're doing it from Flamingo. The first one, the first one isn't from Flamingo. You know, it's just a raw three plus four. But then you're leaving yourself in forward, so you could leave yourself in Flamingo. So you're basically canceling yourself into yeah. So you buffer three, and then you just tap four. Yeah, uh, three plus four, and then forward. Yeah, four, four, forward, four, forward, four, forward. Yeah, while holding three the whole time. Right. So basically, if you want to practice it really slowly, you can see back going to Flamingo after the three plus four. And then once you see him going into the uh, flamingo, you just hit forward four while holding the three again, and then you can speed it up as you you know get used to the timing of it. Yeah, and if you're if you if you get the timing of it down, you could uh, also get like four of them in combos after a launch. Damn girl. Yeah, and like that's really useful for like wall carry and stuff. 
Mm -hmm. Or you could just do like regular combos and then decide you want to do the halberd kicks because you just need a little more oomph to get to the wall. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's basically what it is. Uh, it's basically a wall carrying. It's really good for that case. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Good explanation, Like. And then, yeah, hopefully you guys got that down. 3 plus 4, hold 3, then 4. Yeah, hold... Okay, let me explain. 3 plus 4, hold 3, then 4. Or tap four to get another move out, then forward, four, forward, while holding three the whole time. That's how you got it. Okay, cool. All right, so basically let's get to combos. Everything's going to start off with four, three as the main filler. We're going to do four, three, three, canceled into flamingo with forward. You could do a uh, down back three from here, or you could do one, two, three from here, or you could just do keep it simple. This is like Tekken five pick, one, two, three, one, two, three, forward, one, two, three, forward, one, two, three, forward. But that's too many hits, and sometimes you just want to get max damage in this game. And uh, you got to go for big, you know, binds right away so your char second character could get a bigger filler combo and stuff. So there's a lot of adjustments and a lot of uh, creative uh, uh, opportunities for big to uh, bind early or bind late. Uh, he has a lot of those options. So let's just show a solo big combo with him right now. Uh, all right, got to get away from that wall first. Yeah. Wow. A that lot of like so many inputs for what you did. <laughs> it's so much fun doing his combos though. So be okay. Now here's the boring part: explaining it. <laughs> yeah, just explain it without launching me. Okay, so basically you're doing 4-3-3, three, three, cancel the 3, you know, into forward. And during that, I did uh, his new move, 3-3, three, three, and then you cancel that because a Flamingo 3-3 three, three is his mid-high move. And then you can also do 3-3-4, three, three, and that's another string that we were never really mentioned, but, you know, it, it kind of goes into the strings that we were talking about. So 3-3-forward, three, 3-3-forward three, forward, three, three, forward is another string cancel. And after that, you end... Basically, the whole com the whole string, the whole combo, you you're in flamingo. All his combos, you're in flamingo. Mm -hmm. So you're doing like three three down back three three. You see right there, and I just right. did a two three two three. You don't really have to do forward because it's gonna give it to you anyways. Automatic flamingo move. Uh, but yeah, so it's just four three 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 forward down back three three forward, and then two three back three bind, and then for the ender, it's like down back three three. And then into forward, into flamingo, and then you could do one plus two, four. Or you have other ender options. You could also do four, 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 three as your uh, bind ender, or down forward, three, four mm -hmm. is also a good bind ender, or down forward, three plus four. Those are all, those actually all do the same damage too. <laughs> so. Wow. So, boom, boom, that's one ender. It's kind of just like sending them towards the wall for that one. This one, 4443, four, four, is more preferred because it gives this uh, twirly spin in the uh, air. So it gives a much preferred wall carry. It, it's less recovery for Big to follow up, basically, for a wall carry. I mean, carry. it also breaks walls, right? Yeah, it also breaks walls. 4212 two, two is also a good wall breaker. Uh, the last hit is a wall break move as well. And yeah, that's pretty much about it for solo combos. Uh, a lot of cancels with flamingos, down back three three or two three, and then you can enter or or you know you can have other combos too, like with uh, skyrocket up four three and then halberd and then boom. You could also do down back three three canceled into a uh, the down four three plus four three plus four down four three plus four. Yeah, the down four three plus four ender is an air throw, so it only transitions into that in air airborne situations, and it's also one of his uh, best enders, which is kind of sad because not that much damage, but that's what Beck gets, I guess. Yeah, Beck is not a very high damage solo character. Yeah, I mean, uh, his combos. The the problem with Beck in this game is that he just has too many hits to do a lot of damage for his solo combos, and in that situ in that case, in tag situations, that's just you know, it ass because that's not gonna <laughs> give a lot of a lot of damage. Too much scaling, basically. Yeah, way too much scaling, and then the ender for him is not that strong. He only has this to end it, and basically a lot of this, man. <laughs> a lot of combo formula problems with big. Let's see. Yeah, oh, see, yep. it's just too far, and everything is sucks. <laughs> I mean, like, the ender just sucks, dude. Like, all he has for a super long combo is down 4, 3 plus 4. Yeah. So, I guess we'll talk to talk about his fillers, about his tag assault fillers now. 
Uh, he has he, he could do some really creative stuff because he's he is a stance character, so he could do practically full combos uh, with just bake by himself. Like in let's say filler. Brian here he has a yeah in the filler. He has a launch into bind right away, just like Bake with Lost Any Two One. But by himself, you know, he doesn't get too much. Uh, well, let's see. Boom, boom. You could do. You could use him for wall carry, and then you could basically do whatever you want just from tag assaulting Bacon, and you could get creative with it. What? Yeah, you could do whatever you want, dude. It's like a Marvel. Because <laughs> he's always in flamingo. Yeah, because everything's in flamingo. Uh, yeah, so you can do boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah, you can do whatever you want, dude. <laughs> Come up with something better than what we're showing you. But you can okay. do whatever you want, kind of. I wasn't talking to you, Mike. I was talking to the viewer. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> oh, I was trying to create. I know. I was like, all right. Mike's like, oh, God. I have pressure. I got to make up something good okay. now. <laughs> I think you could do like... Yeah, I don't know. There's potential there. Yeah, there's a lot of potential there, and like combo situations too. You could do stuff like flamingo three three four and wall carry, and then it's, you see how far it sends them, and you can still follow up with the combo afterward. Another good one is like a um, orbital. I mean, a hunting hawk also, just because the spike situation. Uh, it's really good. Same situation as Huarong, where you could do. And follow up afterwards with the spike in the middle of the filler. Or you could also do uh, 4 4 4 3 is a great tag assault filler as well. A lot of damage, to only two hits, so it keeps the combo hits to a minimum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but the only bad part is 4 4 4 3 is not a great filler at the wall because let's say I use a two hit bind at the wall, uh, a, lot, a lot of times it won't, you know. Yeah, it's like. What was I saying? Oh, uh, four, 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 three. Two Sorry. hit bound, yeah. I had a brain fire. <laughs> yeah, two hit bind, and then. Oh, well, let's see. Oh. Seems pretty decent. <laughs> a lot of times the high will whiff, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. Yeah, there like we go. that. It's like, it's really iffy. I mean, I don't like it because it is iffy. Uh, but you have other options with, like this. You could do an uh, Intag Assault Filler as well. Oh, yeah. Another thing as well. You could do two, three in the open. like, uh, And then we'll get to the wall one, wall version right after. You could do like, uh, oh, get away from the wall. And then, yeah. whoops. You could do like two, three, two, four, two, one, two. That's a good filler as well. And at really? the wall, you can, yeah, it's a lot of hits and it's good damage. Oh, I see. Wow, wow, that is pretty decent. No, I thought it wasn't going to connect. Look so far. Yeah, no, it, it has a lot of good, uh, good recovery on it. So your second character can follow up pretty easily. And at the wall, you got you could do a. With like two, three, four, two, one, and then four. Mm. Uh, two, one, two won't hit because the last hit's high. But the two, one, four, four, you you could delay it so that you could get a low ground hit. And I'll show you. Whoops. Yeah, and then you could get follow-ups after that. Uh, okay. Boom, boom. That was a grip of damage. Yeah, four, two, two, three, four, two, one, and then if you delay the four, and if you have a character that has a string that could pick up off a low wall hit, and then still get another follow up afterward, uh, that's probably most preferred. Or you could also do another easy filler uh, at the wall with the uh, three, 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 four. Uh, with but then I prefer using it with like a one, one hit bind, three, 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 four, and you could do, yeah. Whoops. Ugh. Yeah, that works. Yeah. There it is. That's uh, not bad either. One yeah, inbound for three, 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 four. Got it. Three, 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 four. Yeah. So that's that's probably like one of his more damaging ones. Or you could do like, oh, uh, 
the other problem is like uh, oh yeah solo wall combos as well uh you could do down four while standing four 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 at the end of a wall combo so you could do stuff like four three 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 yeah that's a wall combo uh to do oh yeah back four wall splat uh you gotta cancel it fast though i'm messing it up you can also do stuff like Dude, that what combo was that that was a grip of damage Oh, sorry with that, that's why. Yeah, and then you can do... Whoops. Yeah, and then... Uh, that's basically uh, Flamingo forward 3 and then 4-4. Four, four. Or you could do Flamingo forward 3, down 4-4. Four, four. And that actually leaves you in a pretty good situation with Bake on the wall. Because you could do a uh, sidestep and then flamingo forward three, and it's actually a tech catch if they tech roll to their right with their character. So let's we'll try to demonstrate that. Whoops, missed the forward three. the wrong way. Yeah, so tech upward in this situation. Okay. Whoops, I'm doing the wrong body. Whoa, I'm getting brain farts. Sorry. It's okay, it's just late at night for us. <laughs> That's a tech catch? Yeah, I messed it up. I gotta do it faster. Oh, where's the forward three? I pressed it, I swear. The internet. I hit the button. <laughs> I don't know, man. It, it might just, be hard. I just did it yesterday on the computer, too, so hmm, it's still in. I know it's still in. And then, yeah, you do boom right after they tech roll, and oh, God, I want to show it. <laughs> I got, I got to show it, dude. Ah, I suck today. Okay, there's no tournament tonight. Oh, oh man. I don't, I don't believe this is, a, this, is a, this is a tech trap. I think it's gone. No, it's still in there. I just can't create the situation. Uh, the scenario right now. Let's see. Whoops. Wasn't supposed to do all that. Uh. <sighs> Alright, we'll do three more tries, Mike. Three more. Okay. Ah, you just gotta believe me. <laughs> All right, well, whatever. Uh, another wall ender too you could use is a. Uh, it won't come up on the combo meter, but it's also guaranteed. You could do. Yeah, while standing four four four. The four four will spike, and then the four will be guaranteed after the spike. So. Yeah, that's all guaranteed. Hmm. And that's pretty good damage considering that the last hit's gonna be, you know, 12 hits, 12, 12 damage on no scaling, so not bad. Um, yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything. If for a long wall wall combo situation with Tag Assault, you could do stuff. You just gotta do stuff with the uh, down four three plus four, which is kind of kind of ass. Mm -hmm. so let's see. Okay, maybe you could do wall standing four. Whoops. Yeah, there you go. Did we show um, Beck doing tag assault combos while he's on point? Like, what's his ender in those situations? Did we do that? I think we did. Yeah, it's uh, pretty much I just told them you have to do down 4, 3 plus 4 because that's really all you have. Or you have to keep your combos short and then you could do like Hunting Hawk. Yeah, so right. even that or was down too four, much. Three, four. Yeah, down for three four. Oh, yeah, it's... we we talked about that I guess. His ender is like really sad. Like really. <laughs> but it's cause he's he's got so many of these uh kick things, dude. How are people gonna defend against this Mike? I mean there's just so many options. Oh guys. yeah. Let's finally get to his strings then. Oh yeah, another thing I was gonna mention too about his uh um twelve frame punisher. Yeah, I guess you could also do four three four because uh, yeah, that's kind of like a quick thing. Mix-ups. <laughs> In their head, you know. <laughs> yeah. 
Cool. But yeah, let's get to defeating Bic. Yes. Uh, first back. thing we'll talk about is anti Bic is his. Uh, let's talk about his Bic rush first because this is pretty much like the main thing that everyone's always like, oh man, well, I'm playing Bic. How the hell do I deal with this string? I can't get away from this string. Like this string is just owning me up all, all day. You know. So basically, mm -hmm. the key element to getting away from this is remembering that the last three is sidestep rightable. Yeah, you sidestep right and kill him. So the main way to defend against it, uh, if you really think about it, is sidestep right and try to uh, just tap a down forward. Oops. For the low. Yeah. I sidestep so that's, and I down forward, by the way. Yeah, so it's like there's no option for him then. And then he has to start doing stuff like, yeah. Yeah, and I just tapped it there, so it's like a neutral guard of the hop pick too. Yeah, if he if he goes for crazier stuff like that, yeah, just just from that key element of how to defend against that string, it will help you a lot against Vic. Then everything else is trying to uh, visualizing what you're defending against. It's like down four 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 three. It's the same string as like the Vic rush scenario. Uh, yeah, same thing. I believe. Yeah, you can step even the low on this one. So, or really? you could just do the same thing. I don't know. Not on block, I don't think. Hmm. You can't. Do side step right. Oh, side step right, low pair. Yeah. Okay, sure. I tried to side step right, uh, hop kick, and that was gonna be counter hit. Oh yeah, side step right, low parry. That's pretty much gonna defend against all of it. Like, what, what, what is what he's gonna do? Like that. Oh. Oh, and then that's why he has the cancels for it, so the big players have to get creative for it. But uh, a lot of these stances, they kind of leave them at negative, dude. Like, so you're kind of playing with fire, uh, just in the sense that, oh, is he going to cancel and go into other stuff with delay, or is he just going to finish the string, or, you know, yeah, what have you. That's pretty much the idea. And, like, the scary part is, like, and your back's against the wall, and Bake's in rage. That's a pretty scary Bake, dude. Like, and you want to really try to step that with your back at the wall that's pretty scary but uh also keep in mind uh bake rush even the mid is minus 14 like so and even if i stop at the third hit it's minus 14 to 15 yeah and even if i stop at the actual mid is minus 14. that didn't say punish let's see whoop that was whip that was punished yeah yeah 14 for that it's hard so, to punish, so I, I'm missing it a little bit. Hmm. So even the mid and the low, the low is minus like 16, I believe, if you block it. So, But if you do that sidestep right low parry, you're defending against a lot of his S, you know. So keep that in mind. Um, another thing too, while standing 1-3, you just got to duck a lot of these strings. While standing 1-3, there's a tie, and he's all stuck in Flamingo. So yes, duck this string. Because it's, it's always a launch. On this one, yeah. Same thing with four three. Yeah, always duck that one. Uh, uh, let's see. We have four two one duck it. Yeah. And then another thing we mentioned was like the Damn you know just like just the can strings with like yeah. There's like a really big delay before the mid comes out. So just tap down forward with the timing of where the three would come out. You know. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I did right there. Just tap down forward on the timing of the, where the three would come out, and if he staggers it, who cares? He's not gonna hit you. Yeah. I bet yeah. some block. I'm not sure. I think it's safe. That was... Nope. That's Is... punished. Is it punished? That's. Punish. Oh yeah. So see, that's there you go. Punish. <laughs> Oops. Keep going. All right, minus twelve. Yeah. So it's minus twelve. So if he tries to go for that, that's kind of like a end of the round kind of thing. Like, I oh, hope you better freaking defend against this at the end of the round yeah. or you're dead. Uh, yeah, so it's like, just look out for stuff like that. And then, you know, three, four is also a high, low. Yeah, so and they can also sometimes do that as a jab punish. That was yeah, hard to so. defend against for me. Yeah, people do it really fast. Yeah, because I feel like this is one where I'm not taking the sidestep or anything. Can I even sidestep below? Or out of the three even? I don't, I don't think, know, so. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, he's got a low parry. Close you after the three. Yeah. <laughs> and also, another thing too, like if a uh, Bix player steps to your back, 
uh, and does one, two, three, four. You, you could duck the three, so always do three, four, three if he wants the full back turn combo. Yeah, so if he's on his back and starts to jab, you can duck out. Yeah. Oh, that one was actually guaranteed. No, no, I didn't duck. I was just showing. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I was about to trip off for a second. Oh, you subscriber. Needle. Get out of that guy. Yeah. And yeah, I think that's pretty much about it for Big. Uh, for defending against him. I mean, like, 4-3-4. Uh, four, four. Remember, that's always a minus 10. Yeah. Even after the second hit. And the combo only comes out, like, on hit, so it's always going to stop after there. The, there's okay. no third hit that's going to come out, unless it hits. Uh, side step 3 plus 4 is minus 14. Um, wow. You know, Paul kind of rapes this character. <laughs> I think Paul is a really good anti-big character, just because he has back 3 for all his minus 14s. Uh, Raha is also minus 14. Uh, which is so both of his evasive launcher uh, moves, like after sidestepping, is pretty uh, punishable for minus 14s. Like Mishima's gonna electric it, Lars can launch it, uh, Paul can launch it. A uh, couple characters can launch this move. Yeah, um, crappy characters like Beck and Law, they can't launch it. <laughs> yeah, they can't launch it. Boom, boom, boom! What the hell? Actually, you can launch it with Brian. Yeah, you can launch it with Brian. Exactly. <laughs> Even on a whip. <laughs> oh yeah. Also keep in mind for that move, the first only the first hits mid. So if he's whiffing that move from far away, you could duck the rest of it. Yeah. And this move always scared me. I always thought it was like mid, mid, mid or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't duck it from up close, but yeah, like right there, or the first hit whiffs, you could uh, make him. Oh, uh, you just want to show me punishing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sorry. <laughs> okay. That wasn't even the right one, man. I know. Where is... It's hard, dude. Oh! And also... Wait, whoops, sorry. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Dangerous against certain characters. Yeah, very dangerous. Uh, um, and also, to mention, his sidestep 3 is not very good. I wish, like... There was some stuff against it. And also keep in mind, once he's in Flamingo, he can't block. He has to commit to something. Uh, I mean, forward three is good because it's zero and he kind of has the advantage with like uh, back one and stuff like that. But he has to do something. And if he, he doesn't do something. Oh, dude, this he, is the only way to cancel it? Yeah, you have to do an attack. No, no, no but you can do down forward four, right? What? Like that cancels Flamingo basically, right? Really quickly. You jab, no? I feel like down forward four is even faster. No? No. Uh, down forward four is uh, 12. Well, hold on. Nine pixels in the chat, and he's saying, are they going to cover Flamingo just frame down four? Or just frame cannonball throw from Flamingo? Oh, yeah. The Flamingo's. Uh, the Flamingo throw. He has a bunch of throws, and then the one way he could do the throw out of Flamingo. He has four, two plus three, and that's also possible to do out of Flamingo. It's just another one plus two throw. He has a lot of good throw options too, with like uh, two back, one plus two plus four back mm -hmm. is a different throw, the regular one, and he also has down forward one plus three, yeah. and that one leaves them with Oki. This is the tall John Oki with up back four if they try yeah, to stand I up straight. I love that move. Yeah, <laughs> that move is so good. It has a lot of range, but it doesn't do enough. It doesn't hit grounded in on all angles. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't think it does anything on counter hit. Yeah, it's kind of useless. So so oh yeah, a couple things I didn't mention. Oh yeah. He has a bunch of cancels with movement and stuff. How the hell are you doing that? You could do down forward three, and then you cancel it forward, and then you can do it repeatedly. Down forward four, down forward three forward, down forward three forward, down forward three forward. That yeah, requires also, execution. I'm getting there. Alright, we're getting there. Damn yeah. it. And he also has like up three plus four back. <laughs> what? <laughs> Another silly cancel for no reason. Up three plus four back, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's up pretty four good. three is high. I like yeah. that one. 
and then you just do that, or like, boom, or like, boom, or boom. Oh shit! <laughs> Very nice. Uh, I wish I knew what um, Nine Pixel was talking about. The flamingo down four. Let's just frame one. What does that mean? I don't know. What happens? What happens, what happens on a flamingo frame? down four? Like, what am I just framing here? Or are you talking about the wall ender? Because he could also do a wall filler with tag assault. We could do like two, three, forward, and down four, four, and then you could delay it so you could get the low, low wall hit on that. With like two, three, four, yeah, down four, four, four. But I don't know what else it could be. He said Just Flamingo right. down four three three. Down four three three? Isn't that just big rush? I think you can't do it out of I don't know. Yeah it is. It lets you do the back rush infinitely, he says. Oh, you mean just by going into Flamingo afterwards? That's who cares? Wait, you is can that just what it go is? into if that's what it is, that is really useless. That? I just think... doing that over and over again? That stuff? Who cares? Who cares about that? It's just flamingo transitions. I think so? I mean, I don't know. Is I hope that, that's not that what I'm talking about. Uh, is, is that a good thing? I don't yeah, know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, we, just, we just showed you how to kill this string <laughs> completely, so him doing it over and over? Oh, he said it was good in Tekken 5 VR, but uh, but yeah, but yeah. I mean, anytime I see back rush, I always side step right. I think I'm back running him, Mike. Oh, okay, let me see. Hello? Yes, yes. Okay, like good luck, boy. <laughs> oh, man. Moving the mic, bringing right, it back. Right. I, I'm still, still echoing. echoing. Testing. It's okay, it's I think. Okay. Oh, no, it's oh, still there. Oh, oh, no, 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 it's still there. Oh. Still there. Oh. Well,. Well, the good news is, Mike, is I think we're at the end of the episode. Yeah, that's pretty much about it for Bake. I mean, I don't think I missed anything. I mean, he has a, you know, tag combo with uh, Horong with that, which isn't too hard. And you just do that tag, 3-4-3, three, three, down forward, 3 plus 4, something, something, something. But it's pretty easy. Right. You talk right. about the talk blues, about arc combo. Arc combo. Yeah, and then the the tag team element with him and Horong, it's kind of useful for them. Is The cool part is they could pretty much get a double bind in a combo, but... That's other than that, who cares? You know, it's just okay. a okay. team specific thing with that. Uh, you know, he has plenty. You could also mix it up with throw. Oh, yeah, let's mention one thing running three, you could cancel it as well. Just to get in their head. I like don't yeah, want running to talk three. because I'm because I'm <laughs> Yeah, running three, cancel. You could do that and then get into opponent's head and do throw or like, oh, never mind. Pretty much about it. And then this is pretty much going to be used to be tag buffered off of at the end of his, his combos. So yeah, and three four three on the back, you could do a bunch of stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. Back four, use it. Back two is good for thirteen. Back one is really good now. Uh, yeah, just be careful using minus fourteen moves. Uh, I really wish I step three had something more useful to it because I step three doesn't do anything on counter hit either. Okay. Like what is the point? Just Actually, low. at least knock down a counter. Just low. It's just a low, honestly. Yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, oh yeah, keep in mind uh, his down four four four. That overhead kick thing is minus ten. A lot of people don't know that for some reason. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and also his punch parry, he has a follow-up with four. Uh, yeah. No punch parry and then press four. No? Is it three? Is it three? Or maybe it's three, I don't know. It's three. Oh, yeah, three. three. Never mind. Three. Or um, if you do punch parry just by itself, just keep in mind you're already plus 12, so you could actually do two, two. Really? Really? Yeah. Is that free? free? Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Can't do anything about it. It's plus 12. How many you get off? You get four, three. Four, 
Yeah, you can. Damn it, damn it. It's too it's hard. Too, it's too just hard mash on, that. just mash on four. And the first hit of four should hit, right? Yeah. See. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. So plus twelve off of punch parry. Oh, punch parry mids and high. So keep that in mind. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. Uh, use flamingo to your advantage. The double sidestep or triple sidestep with back one. Yeah, Alrighty. Side, right. Sidestep right flamingo. Boom. That actually okay. drive me crazy, Mike. Mike. Yeah. But uh, that I think was, we covered uh, everything. I think we did. I don't think we missed anything, right? Hunting hot minus ten. I did everything, right? Yeah. So, down compared, to, compared to the other episodes we've done on back, this one's the best one. Yeah. <laughs> also, keep in mind, down back three three. It is a high, so if you duck it, I mean block it. This doesn't auto jail like Steve down back three two. You have to wait for it. Yeah. But if he does stuff like, oh, just kidding. Haha. -ha. Ah, uh, you thought. Wait, let me test that. If I block down back three and then try to retaliate. Damn, damn. Oh, wait, whoops. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that beats it. But, but you beat your 15 frame. Right? Oops. I missed the floor. Am I timing it? Yeah, I think you got the timing down for it now. Okay, oh, yeah, okay. so if they're late on the there floor, it is. Then you got it, then you got it. Yeah. Or, but if I just do the whole string, I guess that's why the timing would be, be thrown off for them. Or unless his wall signing two just high crushes. I doubt, switch I to doubt. Switch to law. Try to do wall signing two. Huh. Does it auto-duck the high now? Or... You have to stay ducking for that, right? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Try it again. Try it again. Well, I stand and cancel. You can never get hit by that on the way up. While well, sending twos don't high crush. Oh, okay. See? Th there you go. Some while sending twos do high crush. Do high crush. What? That was never the c case before. Well, it is now. Check it. Check two. What? Is that what they changed? Is that why launchers are so... Ugh. Anyways, thanks for watching, y'all. I'm going to play the intro, right. which is also the outro. Anything right, else you say to Mike? Uh, I think we got everything. Uh, remember, 4-3, low hitbox. And you use it for get-up-3 combos as well. Peace. Right. See you guys next you time. Alrighty. Good morning.